Hello, welcome to welcome you all for the third unit on mass transfer operations. Here we'll be solving two numericals based on adsorption. Uh, let's move on to the numericals. Uh, you may pause the video to read the numerical, read the problem. You can pause it here and come back again. All right. The summary of the problem one thing goes like this. You have a pigment in the fermentation broth. You need an adsorbent to remove the pigment out of it. The quantity of the fermentation broth is 1000 liter and the concentration of the pigment is 15 gram per liter. You have added 1.4 kg of adsorbent and mixed it. The process is under equilibrium condition. It's a one staged operation. So adsorption adsorbent is given by an equation. Y is equal to 0 0.5, X power 0 0.8. Uh, it looks like a friendly chest term. So the y and x are defined as the equilibrium composition and we are expected to find out the equilibrium composition in two phases, that is solid and liquid phase. And also we have to find out the pigment recovery. Okay, now summarizing the problem or converting that problem into a block diagram. The solution with the concentration xf enters, the solid adsorbent with the concentration yf enters and it undergoes adsorption process that is thorough mixing and at the end of the equilibrium condition you end up with the adsorbent with the pigment adsorbed onto it and you have the solution with a reduced quantity of pigment so these are the notations that we are using which is standard one usually the concentration yf is zero when you take a fresh adsorbent now the friendly adsorption, uh, friendly adsorption for this adsorption process is clearly given in the problem, where y is the pigment gram of pigment per gram of adsorbent, x is gram of pigment per liter of solution. Now the data that is given in the numerical to have the quantity s yes, 1000 per 1000 liter, and uh, the concentration xf 15. So we can see here uh, s is equal to 1000, xf is 1015, m is 1400 gram. Noted, we have taken the problem is given in terms of 1.4 kg. We have converted to 1400 gram for the reason that the unit of Y is in per gram of adsorbent. So you need to be very careful in these cases. So you need to convert it to gram because Y is in that particular unit. Okay, concentration of pigment on adsorbent is zero because we are assuming that it's a fresh adsorbent. Okay, we'll write a material balance. Material balance for the adsorbate uh, for the pigment. Uh, we'll do one thing. We'll uh, take the material balance only for the pigment that is in is equal to out. So the quantity of pigment that goes in with the feed, quantity of pigment that goes along with uh, adsorbate, adsorbent and along with the solution comes out the remain pigment and something that's adsorbed onto the charcoal or adsorbate. So summarizing that into equation in with the solution in with the adsorbent out in the form of solution out in the form of adsorbent. So let us substitute the values based on the data that is available. Yes is equal to 1000 xf is equal to 15. So if you look at the total unit it is going to be gram of the pigment. And this is zero because of yf, s is thousand, x is x we don't know, it's equilibrium composition and y is also equilibrium composition in the two phases which we are unaware of, we don't know. And the m is equal to 1400. Why we have taken s here, that is this s and this s, is that the quantity of the pigment is of low concentration. So usually we take the solute free basis, that is the concentration changes does not affect much on the total quantity. So that's the solute free basis we have assumed. In fact, it may end up with a little error, but the error is very low. So we have arrived at a simplified equation, 150 is equal to 10x plus 15y. So converting that into the form of y is equal to, that is y, let me take it on one side and all, rest all on the other side. So you can see that y is equal to one term into x plus a constant. It looks like a straight linear equation. This is obtained from the component balance equation. 
at the other end we have the adsorption isotherm given in the problem itself so we have two equations in front of us where, where y is a function of x so take your time so you may pause the video and just think about this question how to solve for this x and y because we need to find out the composition at equilibrium and note that there are two equations and two then both of them are independent of each other x and y there are two unknowns how do we solve this pause the video think and come back all right i hope you would have thought about this way we have two equations two unknowns you have you can solve by substituting one into other usually yes you can do it but provided they are linear equations you can see that this is power point eight, not one here this equation is non-linear so you have at least one non-linear equation among the two equations you can solve this equation set of equation using a numerical method yes Newton Raphson technique or you can go for a trial and error technique also alternatively here I'm using a graphical method graphical method in the sense you have one equation linear equation you have one equilibrium equation and since there are two equations and two unknowns there should be a unique solution for x and y so they should intersect somewhere on the same graph that the graph of y versus x here we have two equations in front of us what we'll do is this equation what you have here y is equal to 0.5 or x power 0.8 that will plot it will substitute the values of x 0 to 15 and corresponding values of y will calculate and plot it and thus on the other hand the another equation linear equation y is equal to minus 10 by 14 x 150 by 14 so that equation also will plot it it's a straight line so to draw the straight line it's sufficient uh, if you have two values we'll do this way we'll put x equal to 0 once and find out y we'll put y is equal to 0 and find out x and take that value so at x equal to 0 the value of y is 10.7 when y is equal to 0 the value of x is 15 alternatively you can also take y is equal to approximately 4 approximately 4 and find out any two values are sufficient it's not necessary that it has to be x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 all the time you can take any values of x and y within this limit within this particular limit so this line passes through 15 0 one point another point is 0 10.7 so if you plot it something like this you get it so this is a non nonlinear equation a curve you get it and it's a straight line the red line these are the two points one point and the second point join them the point of intersection you have x is equal to 10.4 and y is equal to 3.3 so let us note that value so that is our equilibrium composition 10.4 and 3.3 and pigment recovery you can come calculate using the formula for percent recovery how much you are fed minus how much it remains in solution divided by how much you are fed so how much amount you have got in the adsorbent phase uh, divided by how much you have fed is the recovery and that comes to 30.7 percent so this is the solution of the problem another problem we'll look into you can pause the video here and read the problem take a second all right welcome back so here you have a problem slightly different from the previous one you have cane sugar 48 percent sugar sucrose is there in that that is not the pigment there is a colored quantity impurity is there that you have to remove it not the sugar now this has to be decolorized and if you look at the problem they have the data on kg carbon per kg dry sugar and percent color remote is provided so there is some data information but if you look at it carefully it's not x or y what we want neither uh, the data nor your equilibrium equation that is friendly equation is provided but some information is provided which is which may be useful for us the question is this original solution has 20 units and the quantity of that is 2500 kg solution and you have to reduce the color from 20 units concentration of 20 units to 6% of its original value means 6% of 20 units you have to reduce it that's the question so let's analyze break the problem here equilibrium data for the adsorption what data we need is isotherm either isotherm we need 
or data as y versus x any of the information we need it data means numbers the way we had the previous problem uh, so y versus x that is y is nothing but pigment quantity of pigments per adsorbent x is pigment per solution here in this case adsorbent is pigment adsorbent is carbon feed is sugar solution so the same block diagram i've used as in the previous problem this is what we want x versus y data but what we have is this kg carbon per kg dry sugar so kg dry sugar is not an adsorbent carbon is not pigment percent color removed is provided that's also not useful for us but we may have to convert the data if you look at the data here so they have you have been given information so now our task is to convert this information into y versus x data let us look into that particular case how we do it so this is the given data and also this information is available to us we have feed solution 2500 kg feed solution is 48 percent sucrose 0.48 kg sucrose per kg solution and you have the adsorbate except initial quantity 20 units per kg solution remember they are given concentration concentration means per unit quantity kg solution now by going by the definition of x and y x is color units per kg solution at equilibrium y is also color unit per kg carbon that's the adsorbent so we have used both kgs here compared to the previous case liter in the previous problem we used liter now we are using kg because the quantity of the feed solution given is in kg earlier case it was in liter not that particular thing all right you have been given with the two information let us analyze that carefully percent color removed and kg carbon so it's kg carbon is related to something related to the adsorbent so this should be related to feed solution so let me concentrate on this percent color removed so percent color removed by definition how you can write is how much quantity has been removed upon how much quantity is present in a percentage scale so that is initial color minus final color this is the quantity that is removed from the this is the final color in the liquid solution so this the removed quantity it has been gone out of the liquid solution based on the initial color so if i write it in terms of notation this is the x x is nothing but color units per kg solution x quantity how much uh, it remains uh, how much uh, it is remaining uh, which one final color and uh, percentage of color removed how much this data is available to us in terms of percentage initial color is xf so if you rearrange this equation you get x that is final color this x you will get it here as xf minus xf into percent removed divided by 100 so this particular value is the x what you want here so writing it in a proper way x is equal to xf common term 20 into that is 20 here 20 units 1 minus percentage removal by 100 percentage removal data is available to us so this is x so how do you calculate x 20 into 1 minus this value divided by 100 similarly let us look into the case of y by definition y is color units per kg carbon color units per kg carbon how do we get that you have initial color units in the liquid phase you have color units in the equilibrium in the liquid phase the difference between the two must have gone on to the charcoal that is this quantity per unit kg carbon now this quantity already we have seen this is xf and this is x and this kg carbon but the unit of x is per kg solution here we want is only units but the unit of x is unit per kg solution so that is why kg solution term comes into the denominator again that is divide this term by kg solution divide this term by kg solution that is what i meant by here now this is denominator part kg carbon by kg solution let us decode that kg concept carbon divided by kg solution how can we write this numerator and denominator both you divided by kg dry sugar that is kg carbon per kg dry sugar i'll divide it here same way i have to multiply here just to cancel it out kg sugar by kg solution of this this particular information is available to us that is kg sugar per kg solution that is 0.48 kg sugar per kg solution the data is available whereas this information kg carbon by kg dry sugar kg carbon by kg dry sugar available to us in the form of a data so we can rewrite the equation y 
as xf minus x that is xf is 20 x is the data that we already available earlier we calculate we will be calculating for each information this denominator we can write it as kg carbon by kg dry sugar the data this data multiplied by 0.48 like this way based on the given information equilibrium data you can calculate using this equation this i am just summarizing the two conversions for x and y so given the percent color removed given the kg carbon by kg dry sugar given this information available to you based on this first you will calculate x then you will calculate y so the xf file is 20 for the value of uh, uh, the percent removal 47 if you use it here your x will be equal to 10.6 similarly for x is equal to 10.6 and kg carbon by kg dry sugar this value 0 0.005 the value of y will be 3916.7 similarly you calculate for all other values so this gives you a adsorption isotherm y versus x like this so it gives you a value of y versus x but the question is this for the single stage operation final product in the liquid stream must be six percent of the original color but the original color is 20 unit and the six percent of that that is x at the equilibrium this at the equilibrium six percent of 20 is 1.2 so considering the equilibrium curve for x is equal to 1.2 value of y is 1450 so value of y is 1450 color units per kg carbon so from the graph you will get the equilibrium condition for x is equal to 1.2 y is equal to 1450 now let us do the material balance for this equation the way we have solved the previous problem same equation you can use it that is s into xf m into yf is equal to s into x into m into y same material balance equation for the component that is adsorbent of the pigment so we have been given it all this information the value of s uh, sorry the value of s is 2500 yeah it's written 500 it's 2500 so the xf is 20 and uh, x and y values which previous we have calculated it here x is equal to 1.2 y is equal to 1450 so use that if you use that there is only one unknown that is m so you can calculate m and that comes to 32.4 kg that means for processing 2500 kg of solution you require 32.4 kg of fresh carbon yeah that's the end of the slide that's the end of these two problems uh, thank you.